Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited because we are diving into the new release from Lethal Cosmetics. Now this release actually coincides with a previous release that I thankfully already had in my collection, but the color story when I saw it just screamed spring vibes to me. So definitely had to pick that up as well as I picked up one of the blushes to play around with and I'm really excited to dive into it and show you guys what it's all about, including some swatches and some details about the palettes. But before we jump into it, you guys, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications to new videos. If you like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how I got this eye look and what blush I picked up, just keep watching. Okay, I'm really excited about this release from Lethal Cosmetics and this coincides with a previous palette. I actually pulled it up because I wanted to make sure that what I had been hearing was correct. So I picked up the Wildflower palette which we'll discuss that here in a second but they released a bundle with the Nightflower palette. It's currently sold out on their site which is $91.80 and I also have the Nightflower one which when you look at the packaging of it, they have very similar like silhouettes, the phantom designs underneath them. But we'll talk about Nightflower real quick in case maybe you wanna go and check it out. These are the deeper purplier shades. I do have a previous video with this. I will link it down below if you wanna go and check it out. There will be swatches in that video. So not of all of them because back when I did this video, I wasn't doing the entire palette. Um, let me know if you need all the swatches and maybe I'll do like a supplemental TikTok or Insta post or I don't know. Now, this is the Wildflower palette. I like that there's a little sleeve for it, but the shades in here are beautiful. Just in time for spring and summer. Look at, look at those shimmers. I haven't even swatched them yet and I am just drawn in. And honestly, they look like they might be like duo or trio chromes too. I just, I wanna dive into them, but I also know that I need to swatch them. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I did also pick up one of, I think it was four different blushes that were released. Comes in, it does not come in this little like cardboard packaging. I bought this separately because the whole like free floating blush, I just, I picked it up. I want to say it was like three or four bucks on their site. So if you need something to like store it in, they do have the like magnetic cases for you to drop those shades into. You can also, if you don't like all of the shades in the palette, because you know, you could like some of these shades and then some of the shades from the Night Flower, you can actually buy them individually, buy the separate palette and plug them in there to make your own palette too. So that is a cool thing with Lethal is each of their eyeshadows, yes, you can buy it already bundled in the palette or you can buy them each individually and do whatever you want with them. This is not sponsored, I bought this myself, but I really like the concept behind Lethal Cosmetics and they are an indie brand. So definitely, if you're interested, go check them out. They have some beautiful shades. This is not, I think I have one other palette too that I never ended up like doing a video for, but I ordered it and it was very nostalgic. Let me jump into this palette. Okay, the shades in this palette swatched so beautifully. The matte shades, I did not have to go over too many of them. I think it was only like two of them multiple times, but the shimmers are so buttery smooth and like I thought, there are a couple in here that are duo chromes where they have a shift to another shade. Some of them are a little more flat than others, but the shades are stunning and I am so excited to try them out. Now, I did something different today. I had to go in, uh, my grandmother's not a huge fan of soap operas, so after the news, um, and she is a technophobe, whatever, it happens. My entire house is technology, uh, Apple TV, smart switches, whatever. But I will go and switch the channel for her so that she doesn't have to watch soap operas. And while I was down there, she was like, what is on your arm? It's all the swatches. But I asked her, I said, which one is your favorite shade? And I'll use, I'll do my eyeshadow look around that shade. Well, she likes blues, but she picked this light blue shade right here, which in the palette, 
So it is the shade Clover. And I think we'll be playing with that, but I don't know the rest of it yet. The shimmers are beautiful. There's some pinky shades, purples, blues to greens. This first one is like lavender to gold shift, which is untamed and it is quite stunning. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to play with this palette. Okay, so along with that shimmer, she did say that she likes the deepest blue shade, which in this palette, it is Nightshade. Now, the shades are actually on the sleeve, so I encourage you to keep that if you wanna know what the shade names are, but I think I have a way forward. To start out, I'm gonna go into the shade Daisy, which is the palest pink shade. There is a tan in here, but I like the pinky tones. I'm gonna to put that into my crease just to create a buffer before I go into my deeper shades. If you hear the planes, it's because I am in the flight path of the air station's tarmac and takeoff area, and it's so much fun. We were actually just talking about it the other day because Luke and I have been looking for a place. I love my house, but I also intended to purchase it for investment properties. And I love my house. I, it's so quirky, it's so cute. I love the style of it. But I knew that after two years, I was gonna start looking for a place because when you do a VA loan, you have to live in your house at least two years. So now we're at that time frame, and Luke and I were talking about my aspirations to do that. He was like, oh, that's a great idea. So he actually is purchasing the next house. That way he can also take care of his real estate portfolio. And we found one, our offer was accepted. There's still a lot that goes into it. I'm not gonna like jump into all the details only because it goes into 30 days for escrow and everything to be done. The place that we found, super cute, uh, built 10 years after mine. Same, similar style, cause I have a Cape Cod. The pink is very faint, but I can see it. <laughs> Just know that it's there. I'm gonna go on to my next shade before we talk about this. I'm gonna go into this purpley shade Cyanus, and we're just gonna put it a little lower in the crease and into the outer V. Now every house has its quirks. Mine is super cute, but I can also hear the traffic from the busy street that's on the other side. Um, I know you guys have heard it, like the race cars and whatnot sometimes. It just it's like a faint sound in the distance on the video, but I can hear it and I haven't done soundproofing. I, I don't want to do that because I still like the aesthetic of my house. I don't want to have soundproofing in my filming room, especially because you can find soundproofing that's cute. It's just expensive and I don't want to have to do that. Like I like my house how it is. So we just listen to the sounds of the streets and above us. When I bought my house, I did not know <laughs> that I was in the path of the flight line. It, does it bother me? No. It's when the big planes, the like C-130s and the passenger planes from the military base take off. They come off the line a little bit lower than like the jets or the helicopters because helicopters go straight up. So I hear them more and they can kind of rattle the house. But the place that we put an offer in on and was accepted is not under the flight line. And it's only like seven minutes away. So that'll be nice because I can still rent my place out. I can still, I won't need to get a property manager because I can check in on it when I need to, or if my tenants have any issues, I can handle it. This shade is beautiful. I really like the pale purple and then the pink right above it. I know it's not picking up on camera, but it is there. It is just like the subtlest of pinks. I might build this shade up a little bit more before I put in the dark blue. And I'm gonna bring the purple a little bit more towards the middle before we put in the green shade Clover. So granted, I was gonna do a tour of my filming room, which I think I'm still going to. I hate packing without going through my stuff. So in order to do that, everything's kind of got to be put into its place and decluttered and that will be happening. I feel like I just decluttered. It'll be a quick declutter, not going into as much detail, but that it has to be done. I don't want to take stuff with me that I'm just going to throw away later. I did that in Chicago. It took me like two weeks to declutter my makeup because I hadn't decluttered it ever, ever. <laughs> It was ridiculous. Those are the first declutter videos on my channel. They got a lot of views, but um, 
I had lip glosses and lipsticks that were over like six years old. Go and check your lipsticks, lip glosses, all of it, sniff them, do the sniff test, make sure they uh, disappear because that's not healthy. I'm gonna go into the shade Nightshade. I'm going to pick this up on a pencil brush because I don't want to dip in and it overpower the look. I just want it to deepen up the outer V and a little bit into the crease, not too much because everything is very like pale. And I, I was talking to Luke, I think we're gonna do an empty house tour before we move everything in. Um, but it is super cute. One of the things that I don't like about my house and this is because it was built in the 40s and back then people didn't hoard clothes. And I've been, it just, let's be realistic. If I haven't worn it in over two years, but at the same time I'm military, so I don't wear all my clothes all the time because sometimes I get home from work and I'm just like pajamas, it's, it's pajamas. But I have been going and if I try something on and I don't wear it that time, I'll try it one more time. And if I don't like it, it goes into the donation pile. And then once the box or bag is full, whichever I'm using to like collect, it goes. No point in putting it back in the closet because here, my closet's like you open the door and you can see directly in. And those are the things that I choose, but it's the things on the outer edges that I don't see. And I'm just, let's be realistic. I'm not wearing them. So I'm trying to be more cognizant of that, but that's one of the things that we were looking for when we were looking for a new house was walk-in closets so that I can see my clothes and he can see his and actually have storage because I have a lot of clothes I'm holding on to. I don't know for what reason. Some of them are from when I first joined the Navy and worked at American Eagle. I like how it's just kind of turned it kind of a bluish green and that's weird because it's got purple there. I will put some of the purple back in before I'm done with this, I swear it. I am gonna go back into Cyanus, but on my compacted smudge brush. We're gonna put it right here in the inner corner or the center and then on the outer edge. We had some things that we were looking for. Like I have a garage that we can do stuff in, but we don't park the vehicles in there because it's not a huge garage, but it's big enough to take the Jeep top off, house his motorcycle, stuff like that. So we wanted something that could be a workbench type of area for him, as well as Jeep top, motorcycle, and then also store holiday decor and stuff that doesn't need to be in the house. The day that this house had an open house, Luke was on duty, so I went by myself. And I sent him photos and I sent him my thoughts on it. And I told him, I was like, this is literally everything that you've been asking for but he had never seen it and he trusted me. <laughs> and he put an offer in on it. We got the inspection done. We're just waiting to hear back on some of the things that do need to be done to the house before everything can be rolled and taken care of and finalized. But it is the cutest little house. And grandma will have her room. Luke and I will have walk-in closets. The kitchen is a little better laid out. More storage in the kitchen, which has been like one of my big things. I hate the clutter and I feel like we just don't have room for the kitchen appliances that we do use and I love to cook. Now looking at the shimmers, there's part of me that wants to use multiple shades and then there's part of me that's just like stick with the one and then like use the lavender shade which is untamed and I was really liking that one has the gold shift. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the shade Clover. This is going to be picked up on my middle finger and placed in the middle of my eye. That is quite stunning. This might be my new favorite palette for spring. Look at this palette, you guys, the shades. I'm gonna pick up the shade Untamed. This one's gonna be on my ring finger and I'm gonna place it, actually, I'm gonna place it with my ring finger this time, but I think I'm gonna use a dry brush to finesse it. Look at that, you can just like see the gold. I know the shades from Lethal pick up on a dry brush, which is one of my favorite things. They're so buttery smooth. I really like all of this. Let me do everything else and I will be back for the under eye and the blush. Okay, you guys, I'm back so that we can do the under eye as well as try out the blush. Now, 
If you want to know what other base products I have on, uh, this is most of my affordable like summer go-to makeup. I will have it linked down below. There are clickable links that also earn me a commission if you're interested in helping me out with that. But definitely check out those links. I have been adding a whole bunch of stuff, including my like shop, my storefront. That is linked down below so you can see what I have in my collection, what my favorites are, go and find them easier than just like going to all the different sites. But if you're interested in that, check it out. There's a bunch of different stuff in my drop down box. We need to finish off this under eye. I'm really liking how my eyes look right now now that I've got my base products on to like just smooth it all out. I'm gonna stick with the similar shades that I was already using. That pink really is drawing me in, but I don't want to like overpower this eye look with the pink because I think it would do that. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is Daisy. Just the pale pink is so beautiful. I'm just placing it before I blend it. Now I'm gonna go into this purpley shade Cyanus, and this is just gonna to go to the middle of the eye. and into this dark blue shade, Nightshade. We're gonna switch over to my pencil brush. Just place it right here in the outer corner and then bring it up. I just did like a kind of exaggerated corner. I do have the blush. And I'm going to admit my mistake. I completely forgot that I had the blush because the packaging is very dark. The top of my desk is very dark and it blended in. And I put a very light peach blush on. So I made that mistake. This is why I also have highlighter on. But this pinky shade, I have a feeling it doesn't matter that that peachy shade is on there. And I am excited to try it. So I have the shade Carnation. It's just on a little sticker so that you can keep track of what shades you have and don't repurchase accidentally. And I just gouged my nail straight into the blush. There's all pan left to use. I'm gonna go in ever so slightly because this is a very, I, I say dark shade. It's not a dark, dark shade. It's that it's darker than I normally go for. It did not matter that I accidentally put that peach on there. It is absolutely beautiful. It is has a glow to it. Oh, that is stunning. I, I really like this. I wish there was like a peachy shade in the release. Oh, okay. But I went for like one of the lighter shades. There were also, I wanna say like, I'll look it up in a second. I wanna say there was like a purpley shade and a more like, not burgundy, but it was deeper. So there are some other shades in there. There's a little kick up in the pan, but not a big deal. So the other shades that were released, there are four of them. There is a yellow, a pink, like a deeper pink and a purple. So this one is the one that I have. This purple, this more burgundy pink, like magenta, and then this yellow. I don't know how I feel about like a yellow blush. It might be someone else's cup of tea, but I don't know that it's mine. I really like, it is so glowy on the skin right now. It just gives that ethereal glow. Let me go ahead. I am gonna use my Revlon Skin Lights Daybreak Glimmer Highlighter. This is like the what is it, uh, Amrezy Dupe from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I absolutely love this highlighter. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner, the brow bone, and then the cheeks and nose. So let me go do that, brows, liner, lips, and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I am back and this is the final look. I am really excited how my eyes turned out and this blush is so glowy and beautiful. I kind of want to go and get a couple other shades, but I also know that I don't need them because this shade is absolutely stunning. Would I wear a purple blush? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> so let's just be realistic with my purchases this year. Now, the Wildflower Palette from Lethal Cosmetics. I love the packaging, it is really beautiful and light. And then the shades inside, 
are breathtaking. I love the duochromes, the shades, the shimmers, the mattes. They just performed so well. And I can still see some of the purple on the outside along with the pink and then that dark blue. And then the shimmer clover that my grandmother picked out. I think it is absolutely stunning. And then this one untamed in the beginning, which is that purple to gold shift. I think it just all came together very well. But if you looked at each individual shade in the palette, you might not see the cohesiveness. And I feel like the duochromes, they just will blend well with other ones like purple and gold going into green. You be the judge. Let me know. What do you think? Do you like this color story? Do you like how my eyes turned out? Are you picking this up? Have you thought about it? Did you just decide it wasn't your color story? And then also, if you're interested in both of them, the Night Flower palette, very different color story, a little bit deeper toned, not so light for spring, but I have not been disappointed with Lethal Cosmetics and I'm really excited that I picked this one up for my collection. And just to recap the blush, look at that shade. It is absolutely stunning. And then it's just so glowy on the cheeks. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications and new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you hit a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.